we're working with the local community um, giving our energy monitors so they can monitor their own energy use and um, track their own energy bills. Firstly the lights, the, the aim lights was really, it went sky high. The, the washing machine yeah. uh -huh, was okay when it was just in its cycle as soon as it's spun out, it's going sky high. Um, and maybe the kettle just spoil what you need. The idea is that the, the tenants will benefit by being able to buy the electricity that's being produced from their roofs, um, but also uh, um, benefit from the wider community part aspects of the project and learn a bit more about where their energy consumption is arising from and how they can more easily control that and their, their energy bills. The energy generated goes to um, an energy supply company and is then distributed back to the owners of the properties um, at a level lower than they would be able to purchase it anywhere else. So not only are we generating energy locally, not only are we going to be employing people locally to manage an ESCO, but we're also going to be tackling fuel poverty. Um, and on the installations, yeah, it, it's just been about coping with the group structure, getting the, the legals right, looking at if, if you're putting them on, the panels on social housing roofs, uh, how does that sit with, with the tenant's right to buy, and those kind of, of technical issues which, if I'm completely honest, we, we should probably spend more time on when we put the bid together. We didn't, uh, we didn't fully appreciate just how complicated uh, Modern, modern housing associations and housing law is. We thought people were going to want to talk about uh, being green, uh, saving the planet and, and mainly saving money. Um, and, th and they do, but um, they also they want to talk about all of it and they want to talk about uh, whether their utility supplier is, is treating them fairly and what can they do about it and and if they do learn through this process that the, the two meters are, are giving different readings what other evidence can they gather and how do they talk to, to Scottish Power or whoever it is or, or whatever the supplier they're working with um, so that's been really interesting but I think we're really successful in, in getting people animated and energetic and talking about energy which uh, it isn't something that I've particularly experienced before. We've been slower on probably most fronts than we thought we were going to be and I think we need to to get back on track in terms of the timetable. We need to um, finish off the, the sort of technical and legal issues around the installation and I think that once the PV panels are up on roofs and people are walking past them and people are seeing it in the paper and, and hopefully on the television. I think that's going to give a, a whole new uh, impetus to, to the community engagement work and I think that's going to let us really uh, take that to the next level.